Hi everyone, welcome. I am here with another book flip through, if I could talk. Um, I know you're going to be tired of seeing me, but I am pulling my Christmas stash little by little and I figured I'd do flips sort of as they came in and as I pulled them so I didn't have to do like 50 of them in a month um, in December. So this is a new book, new release. Mine is a little wild um, because it's black background. So it is one of these. It's a little bit warped. But it does have the name on the side, Winter Wonderland by Demita Victoria. Very neat book. Um, this book is not going to be to everybody's taste, but it is fun to try out and see what you think. So let's take a look and I will kind of show you what I mean. So the cover kind of shows you it's not necessarily a Christmas book. So if you're not into celebrating Christmas or anything like that, you can still get in on the fun. I love these wintry scenes. So, um, you know, after a while you get tired of Christmas trees, candy canes, things like that. And this is just purely um, ice and snow fun. So, let's look. So, Winter Wonderland. Um, one thing I will say pulling out my Christmas stash is, please, nobody else name your book Winter Wonderland. Even if you add whimsical Winter Wonderland to the title. Because I think I have at least three books with the same title and that does cause a little bit of confusion so just as a heads up if you are into making books and things that one's off the table okay so here is our lovely cover image which is very cute um, I am excited to try out some metallic ice blue for ice some dragon glaze I have some clear unicorn sparkle that I'm going to use on some ice um, be very careful when using nail polish, especially of the white or clear sparkle variety. Some of these will turn yellow. And then um, when your ice does dry, it has a yellow tinge to it. If you're not worried about it, that's fine, but just a heads up. Um, I have some eyeshadow. This is Shimmering Snow White that I'm excited to try. And then, of course, I have tons of embellishments. So if you'd like to see those, let me know. I can do a video on my winter embellishments. Um, because I have stickers and rub-ons and iron-ons and um, all kinds of things. I've been stocking up throughout the year for the season. So this is a very pretty fountain. Now that I am completely off subject and probably bored everybody, we will actually get to the flip through. I love this. I don't know if I would love it if I were on the train, but just looking at it is nice. <laughs> I'm not a fan of like canyons or driving next to cliffs or anything like that. Um, a little bit of chicken. So yeah, I'm very excited to jump into this book. It is a little more detailed. Um, if you're into that thing, kind of thing, I should say. This is neat. It's like underwater Christmas. That would be fun. Um, I just liked how different this book was. I like this sticky. There's an inside, if you're an inside winter person. You get your tree and your fancy rug and your nice cozy fire. Hopefully you guys can see. My book is really warped, so I'm trying to hold it as flat as I can here without putting my fingers too much in the way. Okay, we have some reindeer. I have one page I'm super excited to do in here. I'll show you when I get to it. Might do a video on it. We will see. This one. I all about this one. I love the trees and the snow and the frozen waterfall and the little rocks stacked in the middle with the pretty mountains with ice on them. Hoping to get this one done this season. I do need to go through and maybe flag the pages I want to color. Maybe that would help me actually get some done. We'll see. Nice pretty Christmas tree. Um, these Christmas trees are really fun to stick the little gems on. If you go to Dollar Tree or Walmart or anything like that that has the little cutesy gems. Um, I don't know. Like these. Of course you can do whatever colors. But these gems make really good little Christmas bulbs. Just so you know. And I'm sure at some point um, I would like to get one done for November just to give people ideas for December. No, so hopefully you will see that in my completed pages. At least one Christmas tree. 
This is fun. You got hot air balloons and some planets. Little ice islands. Also neat. It's like a little bedroom set with the nice snowy look outside the window there. Castle page. Nothing better than a castle covered in snow to give you that Elsa feel. Maybe, possibly, because I have a younger daughter who is still in the frozen stage of life is why that comes to mind for me. But this is a nice, cute little village page. It'd be cute. The color. Kind of do them like this one has a red, white candy cane feel, but you could do like a blue and a green to give it that Christmas color. Tree of Life. It's got a little love seat hanging there. And the sun just came out from behind the clouds, so I'm hoping everything is still nice and bright and able to see. Cute little Christmas present. That castle on top of the mountain again. And they are all framed in, not perforated, Amazon paper. He said I'm going to have to smash mine just to get it to lay a little flatter for me. Hoping once I get some work done in here it'll stay. Alright. This one is neat and I have no idea how I would color it yet but that is a neat idea. So if this one is a little more busier and not your style, I did post a flip through of Demita's Jolly Winter, which is a little easier, a little more simple, cutesier Christmas images. So you can look like that. Um, I've told you before, but if you, you have lots of color swatch pages, so these are great for color combinations, you know, if you want to see if two markers blend or some pencils. So I have a few of those free coloring page in her Facebook group, Demita Victoria Artwork. Let's be friends. She has Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, Demita Victoria. And then here's a list of all the other books she has, which I thought I owned quite a few of hers till I seen this list. And then I was like, I guess I don't. And then Amazon review, of course, if you buy her book, if you leave a review, it just helps her move up the list a little bit and lets more people see her artwork. There's the back. Sorry about the glare. So that is Winter Wonderland. So I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next video. Leave your questions and comments down below.